We've just been through our first weekend of the new lockdown. And I think you'll remember I said when we had the lockdown earlier in the year, how strange it is uh, looking down the church, seeing no one there, but knowing people are participating um, remotely through the live streaming. So we've had a weekend of this and we've got three more weekends uh, before we officially come out of this second lockdown. And as we go into the winter months now, this is becoming very difficult for all of us. So I want to encourage you really with two things. And the first is this. Let's remember that we have to be strong together. And what I mean by that is be strong in the way that we live our faith, not by being defiant and wanting to go against the law or the guidelines or the protocols that have been put in place for us, but being strong as people of faith. And the first act of faith is always prayer. Prayer is a manifestation of what we believe. So let's be strong in prayer. Prayer as individuals, prayer in our families and prayer in our parish family. And I'm doing this each day in the Mass. Many of you are live streaming and joining with me in the Mass each way, each day in that way. But also each evening at six o'clock, we've been asked to have a national moment of prayer when we all join together in a moment of recollection. And I'm doing this in the church before the Blessed Sacrament exposed on the altar and through the praying of the Holy Rosary for those intentions of our parish and then to the pandemic and in this month of November for the Holy Souls. So let's try to remain strong in faith and above all, above all else, to keep this pattern, this rhythm of prayer going, which is so vital for us and for our sanity at this time. The second thing is, let us be looking outwards. Let us try to live that Christian charity and love, which is an expression of faith also. And we can do this by looking out for those who are in any particular need. We don't have to go very far. Perhaps it's just a neighbour, someone in our road, an acquaintance that we have that's in some kind of need. Maybe it's just picking up the telephone to them and having a conversation telling them that they're not forgotten about. Maybe it's trying to be practical by helping someone who can't get out of the shops. There might be someone who's shielding that we know doesn't have any family members that we can help. Let's be strong in our charity for these people also. So I assure you once again that I'm here, that although you're not seeing me except on the live stream and I'm not seeing you, of course, unless I bump into you out on the street somewhere. Um, please do remember that I'm here for you. Call me, email me. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. And above all, remember that you are constantly in my prayers in these days and in these weeks ahead. God bless you.